Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing something that probably should have done a long time ago because we came into a bit of an issue when we were up the beach. One day I got stuck. Everybody gets stuck and it's one of those things that you really need to be prepared for and if you're not prepared that it can get you into a lot of trouble and with bad recovery situations there's other risks involved, something breaks, it can go flying for a windscreen or a back window could hurt someone um, so having the right gear for the right situation is a must and we always thought we we're under that impression that because we hadn't been stuck before we're not going to get stuck again but the beach this time was just trend up a lot of people were getting stuck it was just a bad situation um, so we managed to get out um, but not at a cost so we got stuck I managed to get reversed back and I tried to do it again just bogged down and got stuck we all do it it all happens so I managed to get my brother-in-law in front of me and in his high locks. Um, and I didn't have, we've got that red tow hook, I've got that, this red tow hook that came, it was originally black, it's like the factory hook for the Jeep, because it's on the front bumper like so. Now apparently this is not a rated tow point. And one, we didn't have any D shackles on us, so we didn't have one of those on us as well, which was a big mistake. And we only had this. Now we couldn't actually fit the snatch strap through that hole. So what we did is actually loop the um, snatch strap around the front bar and around this point at the front of the car, which is not a great idea. It's not a structural point. If that breaks, that's a piece of solid steel that's gonna go flying through someone's window or hit someone in the head. So not a great deal. We managed to kind of jimmy up around that, kind of like loop it there. That it could easily fly off and hurt someone. And someone told me these are not a rated um, recovery point. These are actually like a tie down point if your car is like on a barge or um, on a boat. These are actually used to tie the jeeps down if they're getting transported somewhere, something like that. So that's not a recovery point itself. So I started into recovery points because I knew that if I was in this situation again, we've got the kids in the car, there's people around, I wouldn't be able to be fully prepared to get out of any situation safely. You can get out in any situation but getting out safely is probably one of the biggest things. Considering we've got kids, I want to make sure everyone's safe. Um, if something happened to them and I didn't have the right gear, money is not an issue. It is an issue, but it's not an issue in the fact that if you cheap out and something happens, you'd feel like, shit, why don't I just go for the more expensive option? That's the safest option. So we decided to bin this and go with. Now it was actually quite hard to find recovery points for the front of the JK. Um, and there was nothing really online about front recovery points, front recovery um, things like if you've got an aftermarket ARB bar, something like that, like we did on the Jeep when we first bought it, they've got rated recovery points at the bottom, but we're not running that, we're running a factory like bar, um, so we started having a look around and there wasn't much available. Now these, um, I bought these from Merchant Products and they're in uh, Burnsdale in Brisbane, so just down the road, um, and these are made by Unique uh, Four Wheel Drive. Now you can buy these in America, Australia, and New Zealand, anywhere like this, a few different companies sell them, but I kind of went with a company that had the, these were listed for 155 plus shipping to the Sunshine Coast, which I think was $15, they were the ones with the cheapest shipping, but they had one of the highest prices, but one of the cheapest shipping. Um, and then I got a call uh, the day afterwards saying that the shipping wasn't correct and asked me to pay a little bit more for shipping, which I didn't really like because as a company you should probably wear the cost because your website's not set up properly um, but it is what it is and I kind of just wanted them um, and I was happy to pay not happy but I was willing to pay just to get them here so I've got a nice rad recovery point now these are great because they actually bolt straight to the front bar like so 
which is fantastic because it's actually a right to point straight to the chassis itself. Two things is that it's got two of them. So these come in a pair. Um, unfortunately they don't come with any bolts or anything like that so you just have to use a factory hardware. We actually got new bolts with not like nuts so there's no way these nuts will come off. I noticed with my old ones that the nuts would come loose over a bit of time so I've got ones with nylock nuts. So up here, so you've got one on each side and it's great that they have um, D-ring holes in them. Now the other ones I've seen didn't have D-ring holes or the holes weren't they're only on one side where these you can have one on either side you can hook your D-ring um, through the actual eyes of these and you've got a radio recover points on either side of your vehicle which is sick um, and so all up I paid like $175 I think for two great recovery points on the front of the Jeep. Now they're really easy to install if you've got a factory bar you'd have to take that off and just run a um, remove where the crush cans go. I think a lot of these can um, bolt up to aftermarket front bars. I've seen a few people do that which looks actually really good. They are powder coated black. Uh, now there were a few small chips um, in the actual powder coating itself so what I've done is I've actually removed the front bar, painted it matte black and then a respray and um, actually clear coated it and clear coated these at the same time that way they're not going to rust, they're going to stay nice um, for long time to come hopefully so we've taken everything off as you guys have just seen we've repainted the front bar we've clear coated these we're going to put everything back on and we're going to see how it bolts up um, it should be a nice upgrade to a lot of factory jeeps for rated recovery gear now a lot of people i've seen ask um where i get them from who sells and stuff there's a few different companies so down below i'll link two websites i'll le le link the unique website which are the manufacturer of these and i'll link merchant products as well who i bought these from um, there are a few companies in Australia, New Zealand and America that actually sell these and I know a few people were asking about them so links down below at the same time if you haven't already smashed the like button and subscribe button so let's put all these back on see how they look and see how safe we are So that's pretty much it for today guys really simple install and as i was doing it some of the paint chipped off a little bit so they're not that well protected so if you guys do buy them maybe wrap the line them do a little bit of a clear coat maybe another coat of paint i don't know how many coats are on there they said they're powder coated all that so don't know how much i believe them they scratched up pretty easily so i just went softly um on that wrench i had on the outside of it just so I don't scratch it too much. It is a four wheel drive, they will probably get damage and stuff in the future. But I can go out with like a little touch up paint. Paint pen, it's all good. But wow, that has really changed the front of the Jeep from what it was before. And what it is now has really made a massive difference. Just on the way it looks, I think it looks a lot tidier, a lot cleaner, a lot more staunch as well. Um, with some more aggressive tow hooks on the front rather than just that kind of pussy little green one in the front. Looks more aftermarket rather than just like a factory bar that I've just kind of painted to look like a front bar, which I have, but I think this makes it more look aftermarket and just looks better. And the fact that we've got a nice safe recovery points, two recovery points on the front of the Jeep. So if we are in a bad situation, we've got ways out, ways to, safe ways to get out of bad situations. But that's pretty much it for today guys, if you like this video smash that like button and subscribe button. If you do like this product, I will, as I said before, I'll leave two links down below in the description. Um, and as always, if you guys got any comments about it, um, if you like it or whatever recovery points you guys are running on the front of your Jeeps, a lot of people, I think these were kind of hard to find for a lot of people. I did send a few people a couple of links and they said, oh, I can't really see those. So if you've got any other suggestions for recovery points on the front of your Jeeps, leave them down in the comments below. See what other people have come up with. But that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.